at some point it may become beneficial for you to record a sound file for your business and um, I do this usually if I just need to uh, use a service called call em all which allows me to upload a file and then uh, that lets me give a message that gets sent out to a customer's phone and so I want that message to be high quality and so I use Waveflow to record in dot wave format and then encode that or, or change it over to dot mp3 format so I have a nice tiny file I want to briefly show you a few of the key functions of how to use wave flow and I'll show how to change from dot wave to dot mp3 in a different video uh, so uh, to get started just click on the record button and in the first time that you are doing a recording I recommend clicking on the test input button and uh, now that I've done that uh, you can see both the left and the right channel and unless you're some crazy audio expert those are both going to be synchronized at all times and uh, what you want to do is say absolutely nothing be totally quiet and notice how much background noise is coming And the background noise is going to be visible by seeing these bars jump up and down uh, so be quiet for a few moments and also click over here on your control panel for your volume and then adjust your microphone uh, sensitivity like right now this is full sensitivity my voice just got a lot louder didn't it and you'll typically start to see this jump up and down a little bit on its own and what you want to do is slowly bring down your microphone sensitivity until it stays relatively stable and another thing that you can do is to let's see I'm gonna go over to my speaker settings here I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use a program called Waveflow which is a program I use whenever I need to make a audio file for business purposes such as uh, I use a service called Call em All it lets me record a message I can upload that as a file and that message gets sent out to somebody else's phone whenever I want to uh, I'm going to touch on some of the key benefits of using Waveflow. Uh, one of the key benefits is that it lets you convert from .wave to .mp3 format for free. The other benefit is that it is a full featured WAVE file format recording studio. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to click on record here and before you do anything with making your first um, file I recommend clicking on the record uh, on the click on the test input button over here and doing that allows you to begin to see what your computer can hear and because this is visually represented uh, that allows you to then uh, go to your uh, play um, to your uh, audio settings uh, go over to properties and make sure you're not on playback you want to look at recording and click OK on that and what we can do is adjust the microphone balance and you can slowly bring this down while being totally quiet and uh, what you will notice is that um, this goes up and down a lot less it picks up a lot less background noise if you're totally quiet according to how sensitive your mic is so uh, if it's jumping up and down a lot then slowly bring down your microphone balance until it stops jumping up and it stays pretty much level 
and at that point uh, you should be just about perfect. Don't go any lower than that. As you can see if I'm quiet it doesn't move very much so uh, this is just about perfect. And also uh, if you're in doubt another thing that you can do uh, to check on your uh, background noise to see if it's uh, going to be an issue is to click on the option to adjust volume for playback. Click OK here and then uh, make sure that uh, you have a microphone uh, off of mute and then turn your microphone volume all the way up and uh, what this does when you're on playback is it allows you to hear yourself. You can hear your own voice so that you know if your voice is too loud. And in addition to hearing your voice, you can also hear any background noise that might be getting picked up. So uh, you can alternate uh, between... Uh, well, af after you have this turned on, you can go back to properties, go to recording, and then bring your microphone balance down until you no longer hear the background noise. Okay, now that you have your microphone sensitivity well adjusted, uh, the next thing you want to do is probably pick a high recording frequency. Select 16-bit rate and channels typically doesn't uh, really matter unless you're some kind of an audio wizard that uh, records um, in stereo then you know, like if you have more than one microphone then mono is just fine okay we can click on stop now and then uh, click on record and begin making your first recording speaking naturally and when you're done making your file, click on Stop. And this program can be automatically configured to open up uh, a file for you as soon as you're done recording if you want. Uh, for me, I have to open up the file manually. So uh, that's what I've just done is opened up the file that I just created. Next, I can begin to play with my file. So uh, what I can do is place my start point anywhere that I want, and I can highlight a section, and then I can listen to that. And uh, you're actually not going to hear that on this video because of how I have my audio configured right now. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of what's possible. Uh, let's say there was some extraneous noise or maybe I said a word that I shouldn't have said and I want to delete that from my recording I can find out the exact spot where that word was uh, I can zoom in if necessary to zoom in on a section uh, just place this line wherever you want to be focused on and then select miscellaneous over here and then click on the magnifying glass. And that lets you go uh, really zoomed in on a file if you need to. Maybe a certain section was too loud so I needed to delete that or whatever. Just select it. Select it, go to edit and then click on this button here to delete. If you ever make a mistake, you didn't want to do that, just hold down Control Z. You have full undo capabilities with this editor. If you play your file through and it is too loud or it's not loud enough, you can also adjust the volume by uh, increasing or decreasing certain sections of it. And you can also normalize it just in case there's like a big scream in the middle of your file. And then when you're uh, done working with that, you can uh, just save it as its current uh, encryption or you can uh, pick a different encoding uh, if you wish. Be sure to pick one of the ones that is .wav and also remember that when you're happy with your .wav file and you're done editing it, you don't need to change it anymore. 
uh, this program will also allow you to uh, transcode or change from .wav over to .mp3 as your file format. That can give you about a 90% savings on your file size. When you go up to the edit menu up here, uh, options may or may not be available uh, depending on if you have clicked on edit over here. So do be aware of that. Uh, one of the uh, final features that I like about this program is the ability to uh, insert silence. Uh, so uh, if you delete something and then it crams your words together a little bit too much or uh, maybe if um, you want the beginning of your f uh, file to be totally silent then you can use that function and you can tell how much you want to uh, how much how many seconds of silence you want to put in there. Remember that uh, with this program it will show you milliseconds a lot. Uh, 1,000 milliseconds equals one full second. That's about it. You can discover everything else this does just by playing around with the program.